Hi and welcome back. My name is Dr. Ash, I'm a doctor and a dentist, and here I'm taking you through yet another episode of my mini series of summaries of the online modules that you need for everything you need to succeed in your MMI and panel interviews when applying to medical school. So if this is your first time watching one of these, this is a bare bones series that are gonna give you the essentials that you need to succeed in your medicine interviews. If you want to check out the full summary series, you can see it in the playlist here. Or if you wanna check out the full course, you can have a look at 15 hours of online videos, live mock interviews, and some hot topics and model questions and answers that we go through. And again, if you've got any questions, I'd love to hear from you. So just pop them in the comments below. If you're enjoying the videos, like. And of course, if you want to watch more of these videos, just hit subscribe in the bottom corner and turn on notifications. And I'll tell you every time I release a new one of these. So today we're going to be looking at all the questions relating to a career in medicine. And of course, we'll tackle the ever tricky question of why medicine. So to show your commitment to medicine, you need to demonstrate your understanding of what the career is. So when examiners and interviewers are asking you about questions relating to medicine and the career of medicine, they want to know three things. Firstly, they want to know if you know why you want to do medicine. They want to see that you know what is required of you as a doctor. And finally, they want to check that you have the resilience to get through medical school and then stick to a career in medicine. So I know it's the thing that you want to see most. So let's dive straight in and talk about why medicine. Now, remember that this is a bare bones series. So I'm just going to rattle through the quick summary. If you want to see more, obviously you can check out the online course. So when we're answering questions of why medicine, our aims are, Firstly, to tell the story of what brought you to this stage. We want to avoid a banal and overused answers, and that's cured by making it as authentic to you as possible. And then finally, we want to find a way to differentiate ourselves from the crowd who are all answering this very same tedious question. So when people answer these questions about why medicine, the responses usually fall into one of three categories. Firstly, the one is the love of people plus the love of science. Then we have sickness of themselves or a relative when they were younger. And then finally, it's the medical epiphany. Now, none of these are particularly wrong by themselves. And I would just be careful of falling into certain traps because the love of people plus the love of science will typically provoke questions of, well, what about and there are several other careers that combine the love of people and science. So definitely be careful of not saying that it's the only career that combines those two, because it certainly isn't. Sickness is also a perfectly valid one, but it does beg the question again of why not other healthcare professions. And the medical epiphany typically doesn't resonate as well because it's kind of a bit of a Hollywood superficial moment. And interviewers typically see it that you maybe have come up with the idea of medicine on a bit of a whim and it doesn't show the stickability that they're looking for. But again, any of those three can serve as good parts of your answer for why you want to do medicine. But here I'm going to show you how to give it that little bit extra to make it a really resonating and well-formed answer with why medicine. So the way that I'd like to teach you to do it is to make it really authentic to you by taking them on the journey that got you to where you are today. So the first thing is it starts by what sparked your interest. And that is literally one of those three things above. If you have something else outside of those categories, absolutely fine, but it's okay to use one of those. But what I'm going to show you next is what gives it that extra icing and cherry on top to deliver a strong answer. So when you describe that initial thing that came, may have come from one of those three categories, all that's going to do is serve as the spark to your story, which you're then going to go on and develop further. So the next stage is that you then go on to say how that's fueled your interest and where you've gone on to develop it from there. So that might mean, for example, it prompted you to do this work experience thing, and then that deepened your desire to do medicine further. And then you did another thing which further deepened it, and it went, goes round and round in circles. And then that's what finally brought you to wanting to do medicine, which is why you are here applying today. And all those experiences have done is serve to confirm your decision that medicine is the right career for you. So now we're going to look at some questions that are a bit more confirmatory towards medicine. A typical one that students get asked is, do you think you'd be a good doctor? Now, there are definitely ways to answer this. Firstly, you want to tread a very thin line between not being too arrogant, but also not being too humble. So what you want to do is deliver solid reasons backed up with really good examples. And these can be examples from people that you've met, say on your work experience where you maybe met a nurse and they said that they thought you would make a good doctor. Examples from your personal life, which 
demonstrate that you have got the skills that are required that would make a good doctor. And then finally, wrap up an answer like this by saying, you understand that you have a lot to learn, but you believe that you have the makings of what will go on to be finally a great doctor. A second question that they might ask you is, what makes a good doctor? Now this question is one that requires you to think ahead. And that's because you're going to need to list some of the qualities that make a good doctor, but then you're going to need to back them up with examples. So to have thought of these ahead of time helps you decide which skills that you think are the most important that you can say at your interview. So when talking about the skills that doctors must possess, so I would categorize doctor skills into two segments, which are academic and non-academic. So on the academic side, we've got things like dedication, curiosity, motivation, hardworking, good teacher, the ability to pick things up quickly. And then on the non-academic side, we've got things like resilience, teamwork, leadership, communication skills, empathy, good coping mechanisms. Other questions that you might get are about the not so great aspects of medicine. So you might get questions like, what do you not like about the medical career? So this is actually an opportunity to show that you've developed some insight into the career. You understand that there are downsides and actually you've taken the time to reflect on it and thought about how you're going to overcome them so that you're going to succeed in your career. Again, this also provides an opportunity for you to show off some of the work experience that you've done. So I would approach these in three steps. Firstly is pick a example that is truly negative, then tell the story or the example of how you actually came to find this out. And then thirdly, you want to show what you've done or what action you've taken to help overcome this downside. And that could be as simple as talking to one of the doctors and asking what their coping mechanisms were. And they want to see that you've got the maturity to understand like any career, medicine isn't perfect and you've gone in with your eyes fully open as to what some of those downsides might be. So here are some of the common downsides and how to go about them. So for example, you might have antisocial hours and the way around that is to be organized. And actually, if you are organized, you can maximize your downtime to be more active than the average person. It's challenging emotionally to ensure that you've got good social support networks. You might make a mistake that affects a patient's care so you need to develop the habit of good reflection so that you can learn from your mistakes and eliminate them as much as possible going forward. And one of the drags of medicine is that you will have exams up to your eyeballs. So you just have to embrace lifelong learning to kind of understand the benefit that continuous learning will give you. The final section that almost invariably comes up is about further reading. So make sure in the run up to your medicine interviews that you're keeping up to date with current health issues, you're reading BBC Health or the Student BMJ, or maybe New Scientist, and make sure that you've got a few books and articles that you can have an intelligent conversation about and discuss at length. So firstly, you need to answer what is the article or book about? You would be amazed how many students I interview who can't tell me the author or the title of a book or can't really tell you the main thing that it's about. So why bring it up? Then you need to explain why you found it interesting. Does it relate to some of the work experience or maybe an EPQ that you've done? Then you need to explain what your understanding of the subject that it's about is. And finally, what's your opinion and can you have an intelligent discussion about it? So my advice is to always have a book, a couple of articles and a couple of news articles that you prepared to discuss at length and are able to answer these questions on. Great, so that's it for all the questions relating to medicine. If you want to go into more depth about these, I have a full course with 15 hours of online videos, some mock interviews with real students doing live mock interviews where I critiqued some of the things that they've done well and could be improved. And then we go through the hot topics and I go through all the common questions and model answers. Also, I'd absolutely love to hear from you. So if you have any questions at all about anything related to medicine, just pop them in the comments below. If you're enjoying it, please hit like. If you don't like it, please double tap dislike just to be doubly sure. And then finally hit subscribe and turn on notifications in the bottom corner. And I'll thank you for watching and have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you.